Hello, my lovely people, a beautiful weekend to each and every one of you, and I welcome you to God's Love You channel, the home of news. If it is your first time of coming across this wonderful platform and you like what we are doing, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notification. This will enable you to know when we upload a new video. Here we react to all forms of videos, local, international. My people, I have come again. I'm not going to talk too much. If you listen to my voice, you will know that I am still <laughs> passing through the weather. This weather is really dealing with me. So I want us to see uh, the reaction of people uh, about the release of Mazena, the canon, and the actualization of Biafra and what is happening in Nigeria. So let's sit down and listen to this video. I want you to listen and you tell us i am here with you i'm not going anywhere you know how we do it we introduce the video and we sit down together to listen to it and then we go to the comment section to air our, our mind but let us do it constructively like i said before happy weekend to you all good morning as we speak now we don't know if the the, the, the end band governors will start from the north Cardinal is on fire yes it let it start it's already you know breathing you know, already they come they, they, they have told him nigerian that the president himself is already trapped you know what i mean by trap he's no longer getting briefs from ministers he's no longer getting you know a briefs from uh, uh security uh, uh, uh intelligence you know but the only thing they found him last is that sit up mr president bola made to of the federal republic of nigeria that fury hunger is coming they've already told him and it was titled revelation revolution and bad government. See, Nigerians are full of concepts. But you see these 21st century youths, eh? they are no longer working state. The drive to transform their own country is not going to be based on sentiment. The last hope that was given to Nigeria for survival was under Bola Ahmed Tinubu, not as a president. Not as a president, because we know that he's the only person that was not voted for, but he became president. I, I, I don't get that straight. The fact is, is that we are trying to look at the scenario that is building towards injustice. You know, I've granted interviews on this platform severally, but unfortunately, you know, uh, most of the things I highlighted, you know, we are not being thoroughly looked into. I told you one day on this platform that any man that is carrying injustice, we have nothing to give but injustice. Look at the embarrassment he enjoyed at Ekowas conference. We had told him that be careful that a prince of Africa is about to rise. They told him we are watching the violations, human rights violations that is happening in Nigeria. They told him. And since he came back, people has gone on the ground. Ndube uh, 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 said he is trapped. Who trapped him? But who trapped him? They told him the reality. ECOWAS is gone. AU is gone. That's what I'm you don't know what I'm telling you, but the, the re-election and the bastardization of the ECOWAS organization was as a result of an option given to him. And what is that option? Open the borders. If you find our economy is going down, Kotonou, Togo, all those countries, Ghana. Oh, if you don't do it, you are suppressing a violation. When you say violation, you are violating the mobile economy that surrounds Africa. And when you're talking about the mobile economy, we're talking about the evils that reactivate a certain percentage in every economy in Africa. Go to Zambia. Go to Africa coast. Go to Togo. Go to Kotonou. Go to Ghana. Go, name them. Go to anywhere. The Biafras illuminate, and that's what they told the Tunubu in Ecowas. And he has no option. They have already told him, we are not part of Ecowas again. We are going to have our own confederate treaty. And they have already established it. Uh, Mali, Senegal, Burkina Faso, Niger will be trading among themselves with the common money. It has started. Fela said it now. 
Fala Nicola Bokuti. He predicted it. It's coming. The black man power is coming. Africa arise is coming. It will get to a point that identities will be changed. Organizations will be changed to drive the ingenuity in a black man. Black man needs to discover himself. Not by these mushroom criminal politicians that does not understand that before you can able to build a nation you have to do with the rule of law. That word, that word, the rule of law, can regenerate a nation. Can regenerate innovation. Can regenerate reform. Can even regenerate infrastructure. Because where there is no justice, what do you think will happen? Do you know what is called justice? That's why when Tribu came back, the, what is already on his table is the Prince of Africa. They wrote, they wrote it boldly for him. Decide. Decide now. Because before, they would say, no mechanics for heading. Hashtag and bad government. They would not, I'm telling you, they're, they're telling him now to decide. Because the Sahel nation that has been established, that has pulled out, AU uh, hey, is going to die. Another organization is going to come. Hey, you are an echo was. Bros, are you not listening to me? I mean, this is not a joke. You know, when I tell everyone I say this severally, people they don't know, understand what I'm, where I'm coming from. I told you some time ago about the pipe oil line contract that will end in Nigeria from Niger Delta. I told you also the consequences of having Dangote refinery situated in Lagos. Are they not playing out now? Is Dangote not crying? I told you also of what is going to come at the end of the day. The prince of Africa. The black man must understand that we cannot continue to depend on IMF and World Bank policies to survive. We must look inwards. And the only tribe and the only race who are standing on that transformation, illuminating, are the Biafras. That's what they told Tinobu at the Ecowas meeting. Free Namdekano for us to negotiate Africa. We must negotiate Africa. Go to Burkina Faso. The military are celebrating Namdekano. Go to Niger, Guinea, Conakry. Name them. Sudan. What are everywhere in the world? They are making references to the man whose bravery has brought understanding and definition of the black skin. They're not our friend of Nam the Khan because they say don't lose him. He possesses let me quote from Yerima that was consultative forum youth president what he said. He said don't release him Nam the Khan. That his bravery is possessive. He has possessed even both the houses. The houses are asking, how come we have Fulani in our midst and we don't know? <laughs> that is what that is what we are talking about. Okay, on this platform. The the the, the quest for a black man to stand up. In every home, there's always a prince. In every hamlet, there's always a king. The Igbo man culture is Ebebere, Ugobere. In case of Ebebe now, like they are doing it in Nigeria now. Nigeria should show Igbos where to stand. Yes. yes. So that you avoid Simon Epa, you avoid Mazenam de Kano, and you avoid other entities like us that are coming. Are we waiting for anybody to come like to raise up? Okay, what, remember that uh, the only way we can understand Nigerian government is to ask Nigerian government, or even to ask the government itself. 
who be government teacher. That's what Fela asked them. Nobody has answered that question till now. Nobody has ever answered that question till today. Until we answer that question, then we'll have a proper definition whether to go into constitutionalism or to go into regionalism, confederation as Ojuku suggested, or we'll bacchanize for national peace and stability. As simple as that. We're not going to be waiting for black, a white man after flying to the moon, he'll come out and tell us this is how to farm. That is wrong. We are the Jews of Africa. No, nobody's going to take it away. We are not hiding it. We'll prove they. I'll be proved.